there's six of them going away, I think, and only one's going to survive. Hey everyone, welcome to today's vlog. We are on our way to Richmond today. We are going to have a wholesome day just exploring the area. Uh, Tapes is not actually from London originally, he is from the Norfolk area, so I feel like he doesn't often get to do things like this and see London and not just the touristy side, you know, when you go to work and go out with friends and stuff. So yeah, we're going to hopefully go to a few coffee shops, um, go to Richmond Park, we normally have deers there, but we're probably a little bit too late to see any deers because it's like afternoon time now. And yeah, hopefully go to a few bookshops as well and just see what we can find. I hopefully want to go to some charity shops and find some stuff for the office. I want to really get the office done soon. And just, yeah, bits for the house and stuff. Um, if I sound all blocked up and lazy, that's because I am really suffering right now from hay fever. I forgot to take my tablets like for one day and I am dying now. My eyes are so itchy, my nose is very blocked, so probably not the best idea to go to Richmond Park and lay in the grass and read but I'm going to do it anyway because you know it's sunny and it feels like spring is finally here some are hopefully on the way too so why not hopefully these tablets I've taken today I don't know make up for something but yeah I hope you guys are having a great day I hope you enjoy the vlog and yeah I'll see you in the next clips The first place we stumbled across was a really cute bookshop called The Open Book in Richmond. I loved looking at their window layout, but I loved the shop inside even more. It was actually such a breath of fresh air to go to a more independent style bookshop rather than just going to chains. And it was so cool to see how busy their bookshelves were and all of the amazing wide ranges of books they also stocked. We actually met the owner of this bookshop and she was such a lovely lady. She was more than happy to show you where the books were, what genres were stocked where, and even give you her own personal recommendations. After exploring the bookshops, we decided to go and look at some of the cute side streets they had all along Richmond and then we stumbled across a really tasty looking empanadas place. We hadn't yet had lunch so this was the perfect place for a quick little snack. Uh, I don't know. Can you smell it? Yeah, I, th yeah, I think it's probably beef. It's chicken, isn't it? Is it nice? They were really tasty. I actually preferred the beef one and Toby liked the chicken one, but either way they were so good we got another one, a spinach and ricotta cheese, which was a bit messy but still so delicious. We then stumbled across a lovely charity shop that had lots of books at the front to browse. I was really tempted to pick up one, but unfortunately just couldn't find one that was screaming my name. This book, however, apparently had been signed by the author, so that was really a fun find. It was a really sunny day this day, so we took the opportunity to line up and get an ice cream. We also thought it'd be nice to sit in the park for a little bit and just do some people watching because we had quite a cute spot that looked across the lake.
We even managed to spot a wild heron. Richmond has so many beautiful houses that are covered in this amazing plant. It was just so picturesque and so many people stopped to admire and also take some pictures. We then went into the works and oh my goodness, I need to go into the works a lot more because they have so many reasonably priced books there and so many books that probably are on a lot of people's TBRs because they are just so popular online. Toby is really into his gardening so he was excited when we stumbled across a really cute shop selling such amazing plants. But I don't think anything could excite Toby much more than comic books so when we found out they had a comic book shop in Richmond we of course had to make a stop and it was a really cool shop, it felt so retro. Unfortunately by the time we got to Books on the Rise it was already closed but we still got to admire the window books. We stopped for dinner at this lovely Italian restaurant and we were actually really lucky to get in without a reservation, especially because the pasta was so, so good. The next day we decided to go for a picnic in the park and really embrace the spring, but unfortunately it was still quite cold and windy this day, so I had to borrow Toby's hoodie, otherwise I probably would have froze. If you've made it this far into the video, then I want to encourage you to get a drink or take your vitamins if you haven't already today. And maybe open up your Kindle or your book and read along with me for a little bit. guys it is actually the next day it is a sunday today and we thought that we might come back outside and just read outside and enjoy the nature but it is so cold so toby has very very kindly given me to do because we were fooled even though it's quite sunny it is very 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 cold so we're not going to probably stay for too long but we're in our local park and it's just making me so excited for when we do have summer just in full form and the sun is nice and warm 
and not just like here to say hi but not actually doing its job you know but anyway I've got both my book oops and kindle here I was going to read with my kindle but I might actually read my book instead because this is my style so luckily I actually do have the book form uh, I got this book from a mystery book bundle from TikTok. I actually have filmed a video all about my experience buying from TikTok shop so I won't say too much in this video, that will be a later video, but this is one of the books that I got. So it's a freedom climbing book called One by One, a thriller, and the premise is that there's six of them going away I think and only one's going to survive. So a little bit like Five Survive where they go away and they get killed or hunted uh, so I'm quite intrigued by this and it's a nice short read so I think I'll probably finish this quite quickly as well but yeah I think the last thing you would have seen yesterday is Tobes and I went to the works in Richmond I did end up picking up two books and Toby even picked up a book as well so we might show you that now and this probably will be the end of the vlog afterwards it's been a really really nice weekend a very outdoorsy weekend um but i can't imagine us staying out here for long so we're gonna eat our snacks that we got and yeah let me show you these books i was just talking about so you might have seen already that i got six of crows from the works it was only three pounds like that is such a good deal i was very very close to buying crooked kingdom because that was also there for three pounds but i thought let me see if i like this first and then I can buy the next one after so I'm very excited to read this I've heard very good things about it and I also got another book I got you and me on vacation this is my second Emily Henry book so I did quite enjoy was it beach reads or beach love or something I did quite enjoy that so I think I saw Nikhil from the cow's nook reading this book and it sounds pretty interesting the premise is quite good and again four pounds so yeah bought these yesterday i'm currently reading one by one and we're gonna just have maybe a few snacks a bit of time out here before we pack up and i might get a candle going or maybe like a warm drink once we get in because ah, it's cold oh toad has brought his book out let's <laughs> Great plot. <laughs> Great plot. Let's get it open. Great plot. I just saw it. It jumped out at me. It's my cooking season. Cooking era. Yeah. Honestly, if you haven't got an air fryer. I'm pretty good at cooking, but I want to get even better. Deb's taught me, but yeah. Air fryer recipes. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> if you haven't got an air fryer, it is just a game changer. Things are so much quicker, food is so much crispier and tastier. I mean, who doesn't want roasted Brussels sprouts, right? Ew. That's the worst page you can have shown. Sweet things. Do millionaire shortbreads. Sitting in the grass when you've got hay fever is not really the vibe. No, it's freezing. <laughs> I'm so cold. I've been falling into wearing shorts. Ugh. What? Have you been falling into that? Well, what, yeah, because the sun? sun was out and now I've got my life. Pasty legs up. It's fine, it's fine. We've got um, some snacks. Yeah. <laughs> Extra hot pepper on me. These are terrible for you, but when I saw that they had like Rating. really, really spicy versions of it, this, I was like. There's 100% pork. And I, doubt, I doubt that. I mean, they can't lie. Cheers. You've got to take the thing off first. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is going to look really odd. Oh, we like spicy food. Definitely hotter than the hot one. Is it? I've got a cough. And cut. <coughs> Thank you. 
thank you so so much for watching till the end of this video if you are still here then maybe comment a sun for spring let's really encourage the sun to come out and i will hopefully see you in the next one